guys welcome to gob daily 049 and i'm really grateful for everything so far 40 and 49th video and that's just exceptional to me for the fact that i've been facing this camera 49 times plus the saturday zone just in our 49 days in total that was like today will have been 50 but didn't miss one day but i i don't give a shit about the day i didn't miss because what i want to just talk about today that i learned why either topic people watched online from people was one the day you say uh -uh, no me because i didn't do anything yesterday because of that i should not be thinking of it and judging myself and that's the day I would just consider myself inefficient because self-judgment is just a barrier because number one you're your number one fan so therefore if you are your number one fan then why the heck just why the heck would you put yourself down so basically I give advice to people saying that nobody don't give a fuck about anybody comment except for yourself you're only going to be better than who you were yesterday not who the people say you are so therefore if you are going to come down it's going to be yourself that's going to drag you down i decided to be number one fan some days ago to start off but then that is not going to be possible if they don't have belief in themselves like i've always said is the time that you put hope in yourself when it's little that i can tap from to actually help you become hopeful and go after your dreams so it depends on your mindset before i can affect it so it's the same for everyone there so definitely if you're not your number one fan and you are allowing people's opinion to get to you or your current situations to get to you like the thing, the thing I have about people that come from pop background is that that's just the best time to just come out and kill it. Like me personally, if anybody is to come here and say they want to sponsor me without me mm, seeing my hard work or seeing my what I'm putting here for, for I just want to put everything in a gold, gold platter, I refuse to. Because I want to keep this thing because you now see that. You just sold me for somewhere and just wanted to give me something I didn't work for. Definitely, I won't be happy achieving that kind of thing. It's just a temporary happiness. But going out there, getting a job, working out, raising yourself from that pattern of hopelessness to actually getting hope. Or oh, just imagine science found a way to actually build a good body. Unless if it's hormonal or cell problems, that's understandable you don't you have a body that can increase at will and then you don't go to the gym they now genetically made you strong steroids yes steroids are real you won't be able to feel the joy of all the pain you suffer because there is no pain but if you go to the gym every day every day constantly if you miss one day doesn't mean that your muscle won't grow so what the heck are you being efficient for inefficient for so just continue in that line be consistent don't give a fuck about what you didn't do and focus on what you will do that way you tend to be more rapid and tend not to give up on the way it's that simple there's no perfection you only strive to learn by listening and uh, that's just it it's not really complicated like that it's a simple ideology so for your inside your inside must be set that's why i said yesterday i'm going to spend the next 10 years focusing on my inside then my next 10 years i want to go on a massive impact because i've worked on myself not only by myself but my available resources I would have had my storyline down not basically like i don't have a storyline this is my recorded storyline obviously but i would have a storyline of me chasing my dreams like i just started january or december last year so it's not really something that i can just start and just say boom here's the success so go 10 years balls deep creating the basic and 
nice foundation. Even five years is a good foundation, but ten years, very classical sound foundation. We enough of something that I have built. Not only I have built, but maybe something I have worked on and it succeeded. And the things I ventured in, how I listened, how I understood, so that I can be able to preach it out. Although I'm still preaching now, but I'll be able to preach it on a massive scale. Because people tend to believe only. People tend to believe who they want to believe. And if you do not, if you are not having a good foundation, they will put you down. Very simple. Your foundation must be rock solid. The impact won't push you. We won't going up as the impact is coming. Because you don't give a fuck in the first place and you build on that very classical very strong the same fact that someone has to build big muscle and it's going that strong and maybe he has done like 700 press ups at that stage at where his muscles are and then someone had steroids that I couldn't do 50 before and you all just started the person can manage with the muscles he has to go like 200 but you that went to 700 knows how it feels but by this time you reach the 700 mark you would know that those ones are using steroids it's all hard work and hard work is very very the pain of actually winning you did a lot of work the happiness is not building a house with your own money your own foundation that's where the happiness is not when someone gets it for you no. it's only in your work your life, your sweat, no, anything else, what you do. That's why I spread, I spread positivity every day of my life. Always positive, never coming down in my life. Always positive. Same thing as those who I want to influence. Positivity. Also, I spoke about something today saying that the best way to learn is by being self-aware. True self-awareness. Very deep truth. Basically, self-awareness is the real key factor. Truth be told. There's no other key factor than self-awareness. When you're self-aware, what you like, like, like your way to learn. Some people, some people can write books, but they don't know how to read books. Guy V doesn't read books. He doesn't know how to read books. He's self-aware. It he wasn't on read, but he writes them, and somebody will read it. That yeah, and the person, and the person will be like, "Wow, wow, is this this is nice?" And the person that wrote it doesn't read books. He's self-aware, and he only way he reads is by going to the market, looking at people's comments, looking at people's adventures, looking at people's DMs, looking at people's activity. That's the way he learns. Same way. Me, I don't like reading, but I prefer video and audio reading. So if someone wants me to read the book, I prefer the person giving me a summary of what he read, and I'll just digest that and go on because it's more, it's more, it's more easier for me to actually swallow than the other one. So this, this is really very detailed and very consistent, and I'm mean, being pretty much very feeling very good towards the camera i guess it's just a change due to continuous effort that's why effort never fails and i'm happy i've reached this point and one thing remains when you continue to put effort you will know your changes i've seen rapid increase around my body parts it's just when you know you want to do it less detail because you get in the effort so you have to put in the effort you have to be grateful for every stop you reach and every point you reach so if you guys love this video give it a thumbs up i'm really psyched up for increasing for m subscribers we got one more yes in the seven we're trying to wrap that up you know, in five years we should get a good number and 10 years should be a good foundation to start massive impact so Thank you guys for watching. Sucks. If you love this video, love you guys. How you want it? Pretty well. Everything I see is overdone to me. I'm not a doubt.